mentioning that flip kick, mm -hmm. uh, that, that could be a really good tool to get off of ledge. So it really depends on whether or not Stretch is able to reliably punish Flip Kick. Because being able to do that will, I think, severely, severely limit Bankai's comfortability in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it plays out right now. Bankai taking decent control of the stage. And you see uh, Bankai's trying to play a lot of it safe here. The only time that he really got super close was the land with the Nair, and he was right over like, oh no, I don't want to be here. I yeah, want to get I, right out of the spacing. I love the use of that tether grab actually to catch the landings. That For a lot of characters, it can be difficult to punish even a misspaced aerial from Lucina. So just stands barely out of range and then goes for a pivot grab or a standing grab in order to just punish him for uh, for doing so. Mm -hmm. All right. And opting to play back a little here, creating a wall of aerials so that stretch has a harder time approaching. That's fair. ZSS's lead trapped options are honestly kind of limited. You sort of have to commit to do them, and that doesn't look like what Bonkai wants to do right now. All right, nice. The flip kick back, like you said. Bonkai yeah. back once again. Ooh. Yeah, that whip is tricky. Very active, and it does have uh, a surprising amount of kill power. Oh, yeah, no, it is absolutely a kill move. A beautiful tech! And still able to recover really smart there from Bankai. Mm -hmm. You saw their stretch trying to punish that flip kick, but the fact that the angle was changed to bring it on a nice. more wider... Nice! Good confirm off of Nair 1, and it's such a range, too. Yeah, and also landing the Nair 1 itself, very impressive. Mm -hmm. That ZSS is so mobile, so tricky, to get a move like that to connect, especially because like Bankai is probably looking out for it, is impressive for stretch. And now he has some stage control and beautiful uh, parry. <gasps> Ooh. And we were talking before about how, you know, Lucina doesn't really have gimmicks that she can use to just, you know, end stocks or delete people. ZSS definitely does in the form <laughs> of that flip kick. Mm -hmm. The flip kick and making good use of Bankai is of the whip here as well, spacing out, because it's very scary to try to go for a whip punish on ZSS when she recovers so quickly on so many of her moves. In fact, the one time that we saw the Nair 1, that's Nair... Ooh. Max range punish. Very nice. Good tech. Um, the one time we saw uh, Stretch really get a solid opening, that Nair 1 is when uh, it was a whip punish for uh, Zero Suit Samus' up tilt, I believe, which does have some landing right on it. Oh, good call. Yep, the roll, trying to punish a roll attack in place or attack away, but mm -hmm. rolling That got the jump. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah, trying oh, okay. to space out on this shield just barely. Yep. Finally converting into another grab. Yep, that's the, the jump, jump as there. well. Scary place to be. Yeah, right. the, the grab itself might not lead to that much, but it seems like Bankai has figured out the habits, the defensive options that Stretch has been picking at this point. It means that one more hit might do it, might lead to that stock taking cut play. Okay, All right. Good. This is still very doable. Oh! Oh my god! So smart, so smart right there not to save him. Uh -huh. Make sure to just get away and then go for the upbeat to stall out so that he doesn't hit the blast. I think first. that's the deepest I've ever seen Stretch go for an edge guard. That was way out there. Look at this. I think it's the sort of thing where Stretch knew that there was yep. not going to be... <laughs> like, he needed to make a big play happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it had worked... I mean, let's see. Can we actually get a replay on this? We are, in fact, because Devin is a, is a wonder. Yep. Yeah, I, I thought back air was going to be the call there, but the up B is also a good one for the range on that. I, was, I actually deeply apologize. John Numbers is a wonder because John Numbers is actually... Currently in the uh, in the driver's seat of the screen. Oh, Just want to let people know that. Although Devin is also a wonder. Mm -hmm. House a wonder. of three thousand staff. A wonder. So we're going on to game two. Back to battlefield on this one. Hey, the response to that one a little too far off for the plasma whip to combo into the dash attack. So we shield, shield but no punish. All right. Yeah. Well, now we're going to be seeing how Stretch deals with these tiny little pokes, the zares, the neutral airs. And so far, it seems like the solution is to be within closer range and not respecting the fact that that, I believe, is frame one invincible that uh, uh, Lucina up beat. Yes, so it's different whether you're in the air or the ground. I think it's air frame one, ground frame three. So, yes, that is an option that is good to rep. He did not catch the jump, but he's not making that bad. 
All right. Yeah, so looking good so far for Bankai, but this is definitely not down and out for stretch yet. All right. Same time. I like that. Just taking your time on the ledge, slowing it down, realizing that your play style you had been implementing was not working. Bankai managing to, it feels like, for the most part, the neutral and also the punish game have just really been in his favor. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to play so that you don't... Oh, oh no. So smart for Bankai, though, to go for the roll away. So many people all the time, whenever they get reset, they start DIing, expecting the forward smash, expecting mm -hmm. the hit. And that also ends up being instead red as a tech roll in option. So normally that just gets exploited. I see people fall for that all the time. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Bankai was aware and had the presence of mind to go outwards, like that was honest. Just brilliant from him. Very smart call on the read. And we see um, Bankai sort of playing a little bit back here, and then whenever Stretch is pushing to corner him, um, he will work his way back to the stage either through flip kick, roll through, um, just boxing his way out with aerials. And ZSS, even without flip kick, is hard to pin down. Just quite fast, quite skinny hurt box. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to hit. It's definitely not like swatting a rob out the air. Oh, nice beautiful confer. conversion. All right, Bankai looking pretty good on this one. This is definitely uh, a piece of work for Stretch to come through on, but this is not him out just yet. Yeah. At the same time, not only does Bankai have the lead, but it feels like he has uh, the adaptation lead. Like he's figured out exactly what Stretch has been doing and been punishing him pretty consistently. So Stretch needs to be changing up where sort of how he's picking his options. Okay, at this moment, look at these long-ranging hits. It is worth actually noting that CSS can outrange uh, Lucina. Like, that's one of the tools that Bankai is really using here. Mm -hmm. and We're seeing that in Zare. We're seeing that in the grab. We're seeing that in the side V. A lot of uh, Plasma Whip action really does put a lot of presence there that puts the pressure on Stretch to get in. And now Stretch is at 93%, but finally got Bankai onto his last stock. So he needs to get something started. He needs to not fall for those really, really dangerous hits that ZSS can put out. I will say, though, at times ZSS can struggle to kill, even though she has a bunch of kill moves. Oh, but that's, that's not going to be it. it. Yeah. yeah. Bankai with the berry can easily finish it off with the up eight. And that's going to be uh, Bankai moving on into winner's semis, I believe. Guaranteed top six. Mm-hmm. Yep. And speaking of top six, I do believe we may be looking at a caster swap as we move into top six, although this has been pretty tight. We're looking at uh, Bankai just moving on. We'll see. Oh, look at them. They're buddies. They're, we're all friends here. Yeah. <laughs> I nice mean, chance. actually, though, like a lot of the times, even if you're like, even if you lose mm -hmm. to somebody, it's like, I'm so happy to see you again, buddy. Thanks yeah. for bothering me in person. 